Hey Philadelphia fans, I'm Christine Renland and welcome back to my kitchen. I'm going to show you another delicious recipe today using Philadelphia's original flavored cooking cream. This is such a great invention. Philadelphia has blown the lid off easy dinners here. This is scoopable and spoonable. It goes right in. And in my opinion, when I see original cream cheese, I think two things. I think baking and I think cream sauces. So kind of not the best baker in the world. So what I'm going to do today is make a delicious cream soup. It's my clean out the crisper drawer soup. We're going to make it a cream of celery with a little bit of carrot and onion. It's going to be super, super simple. And then on top, we're going to put a mixed herb gremolata. It's going to be so delicious and very, very easy. Thanks to Philadelphia cooking cream. So to get started, I just have a whole bunch of celery here and we're just going to trim these guys up. Don't worry about making it look pretty because it's all going to go right into the soup pot. We're just going to do a nice coarse chop on these. This soup is just what the doctor ordered on a cold day. I don't know where you guys are, but I'm here in the Northeast and it is 14 degrees outside and the last thing I want to do is eat a cold meal. I want soup. So that's what we're making today. I got my celery cut up, one medium carrot. Again, just go ahead and coarse chop. You don't have to worry about it. We're actually going to blenderize this all later to make it real rich and creamy. And then we have one small onion. What I love the best about the Philadelphia cooking cream is how easy it is to make yourself look like a super gourmet chef. Now, I consider myself a pretty good cook, but even for me, it takes cream sauce a while to make. Even for me, it takes a while to make cream sauce. When you do it with the Philadelphia cooking cream, you can have it pretty much instantly, which is a miracle when you're a busy working mom like I am. And I know a lot of you out there are busy working moms and dads, and you're looking for quick and hearty meals to eat. Soup is a, always a crowd pleaser. It takes practically no time. You throw it in the pot, you let it cook, you blend it up, put in the cooking cream. It's gonna be rich and delicious. It's gonna be so fabulous. All right, so we've got our big vegetables chopped here. We're gonna go ahead and smash up some garlic. Do you wanna try this at home? No, really, try this at home. I'm just kidding. You do wanna try this at home. All right, it's really not as hard as it looks. Peel our garlic up. I'm a big garlic fan, so I like using a lot of garlic. If you aren't such a garlicky person, you're not spicy, you can go ahead and tone it down. I'm using several cloves here though. <laughs> All right, Oop, get that off my finger. And again, just a coarse chop. Don't worry about making vegetables look pretty. It's not about looking pretty here, it's about the flavor. All right, so all our veggies are chopped. I've got my broth waiting. I'm gonna go ahead and get them in my pan and we're gonna start our soup. All right, we're gonna start with a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. And we're gonna add in all those lovely vegetables that we just chopped up. Our celery, our onions, and our carrots. We're also gonna add in some sprigs of fresh thyme. Believe it or not, in this cold weather, it's still growing in my garden. I let this cook up with a little bit of salt and pepper. And After a few minutes, our onions are going to get soft, our celery is going to get soft, and everything is going to start looking a little brown and delicious, and that's exactly what we want. All right, so as you can see now, our vegetables are getting a nice little brown fond for me in the bottom of the pan. I want to go ahead and add one quart of stock. Now I'm using chicken stock here, but you can certainly use the vegetable stock. You want to make this completely vegetarian meal. I think the chicken stock adds a little bit of richness, so that's really good. So what we're gonna do is bring this to a boil and we're gonna let it cook for 20 minutes and then we are going to cream it up. Okay, so we're ready now. Our soup has been simmering for 20 minutes. All the vegetables have gotten very soft and delicious and we're gonna go ahead and blenderize it. And this is what's gonna make it super creamy and super healthy because we don't need to worry about adding so much butter and stuff. We're just gonna add all our beautiful vegetables. It's gonna make a delicious thick puree and then we're going to cream it with the Philadelphia cooking cream. All right. Now when you do a hot blender job like this, make sure you have a dish towel handy because it is going to be steamy. I'll ladle some in and I'm just going to pour the rest. Be very careful here. Keep the kids out of the kitchen. Woo. All right. And look, it all fits just in my All right. Our lid. Open the top up for venting. And in our handy dandy dish towel, 
Blenderize. Okay, so our soup is now thoroughly pureed. Get that out of the way. And it's still steaming and bubbling. We're gonna go ahead and pour it right back into our pot. This is a good time to taste it. Make sure you have enough salt and pepper in there. Everybody likes their own salt and pepper, so taste it now before you put the clean cream in. For me, this tastes just fine. All right, and then, of course, our cooking cream, which we're gonna use in lieu of butter and all this other heavy stuff in order to cream our soup and make it absolutely spectacular and gourmet. It's gonna look incredibly impressive on your table. All right, so I'm gonna stir this in. And it's gonna get this velvety, creamy beauty to it. And then we're gonna put it back on the stove and we're gonna just leave it at a simmer and keep it hot while we make our gremolata topping. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead with our gremolata topping. What we're gonna use is three really delicious and really strong herbs that are gonna help bring a punch to that delicious creamy vegetable soup. First, we're gonna start with some green onions. I'm just gonna go ahead and give those a chop. And we're gonna use just the white and the light green parts on this. You don't wanna use the whole thing. We really don't need it. It'd be such a beautiful green color from our other herbs. All that delicious flavor is gonna be a really bright contrast to the really, really delicious red soup. All right, and that goes into our bowl. And then I already have some fresh chopped dill here. I'm just gonna give it a little run through with my knife. That's gonna go in. It is a little tricky, so I did that earlier. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and use some beautiful, fresh, flat leaf Italian parsley. If you don't have the flat leaf, if you have to use the curly parsley, that's fine too. But I think the flat leaf parsley is just so much brighter. It's got a better flavor. It's a little um, lemony almost. It's really good, and it, it's just much easier to chop up when you're cooking something like this. And this bright flavor is such a nice contrast to the cooking cream. And the great thing about a soup like this is it doesn't have to be just celery. You can do this with any vegetable you have. If you have eggplant, you can roast them in puree. You can use squash. You can use just carrots. It's just like cream of carrot soup would be great too. The point is that no matter what base you start with, you're going to finish with the Philadelphia you're gonna finish with the Philadelphia cooking cream. And the original cooking cream is just perfect. It has a little bit of tang and just the right amount of richness and creaminess without making you feel too full and crazy. Okay. And then there's our parsley and in it goes. And we're just gonna go ahead and stir these together. Nothing fancy here. Just chop some herbs and mix up in a bowl. And that is our gremolata. But you're not going to believe how much richness this adds to it. our final soup. Finally, what I'm going to do is add just a touch of olive oil to this to bring it all together. And a pinch of salt. All right, and that's it. That's your herb gremolata. Very, very super simple. All right, I'm ready to eat. Let's go ahead and plate off our soup. All right, here we go. Look at the beautiful creaminess of this soup. It is steamy and hot and delicious and perfect for winter day. And I'm gonna to top it with just a spoonful of our herb gremolata. And then all of a sudden you have all these beautiful green herbs just releasing all their aromas in there. And let's see what it tastes. Oh wow, it's so good. The cooking cream just adds the right touch of creaminess to the soup without it being really heavy and overbearing. And the herbs, they're bright and they're fresh and they're perfect with the richness of this. This is a gourmet soup that you've made in under an hour. Who can make soup that fast? Mm. And the best part is, clean out your fridge doing it. No more celery, yeah! I hope that you take this opportunity to use Philadelphia cooking cream to make your next soup a real winner. Thanks for watching.